which must be the Hank's choice. And, uh, your thoughts on what his chances are in that? Oh, we're going to go straight into uh, this map, so uh, we'll come back to that point as we're away. Cypher. Well, three maps, Ritz run. Oh, waiting for Rafa on the edge of the teleporter hit. Now laying shots across. He's down and out. Rafa gets away with 64 points of health. We'll take the yellow armor. And uh, that's not the start that the uh, that Cypher wanted. We waited eight and a half minutes for a frag, and now we've got one in just 20 seconds. Yeah, so Shane already doing a good job uh, here. He does take a rocket, though. I mean, on this map, it seems like all the power-ups uh, are traps. I mean, basically, you go for RA, you can get hit by a rocket, then another rocket, and then OG, you can get hit by a rocket, and then railed. Uh, if you go to Mega, you can be peak railed all the way from the other end. Ooh, so Cypher with two nice rockets on the Rafa. He's able to get away with six health, though, and picks up that RA, so he's going to get these bubbles and stack back up. So very close call there for Rafa. Very close call. Cypher, I'm surprised, didn't chase him through the teleport. Maybe I'm perhaps not aware of how low uh, Rafa was at that point. As uh, in the other map, it is 1-1 uh, one, one to Hang's party at the opening exchanges of uh, their second map. We drop down now with Rafa, who has the lead. Spies that yellow coming up. Sees Cypher coming in, lands the rail. Mega's up as well. Does he want to drop for it, or is he going to bait spot a Cypher? He's uh, going to do the latter, and Cypher will take it and does have a little bit more health and armor than his opponent, but that rocket's just gone to work on that. Re yellow collected it with... Uh, as Cypher falls back. And Rafa gets uh, nailed by one of those rails. Red up and gone from Cypher. Cypher demonstrating a lot more uh, understanding of this map than when we saw him play uh, Lost Cause on it yesterday morning. Well, it doesn't take that long to learn it. Uh, so he does have all the items down. He is playing uh, the rails along with uh, the item pickup. So he is controlling RA. Uh, and Mega and that YA. So he has three of the four power ups on this map. Oh, and a beautiful rail on Rafa sitting on that red platform, able to tie up the game and take control of red. Really, really important frag. Changes everything. That Rafa's a little run at the beginning now is going to be converted from one frag to two. Excellent work as Cypher now looks for another one. Rafa spawns right in front of him, but he can't quite finish it off. And Rafa escapes to fight another day. Here we go at the red. Did Rafa really need to take that fight? Well, he wanted the red, and it's cost him his life. As uh, now Rafa will rail back at Cypher, but it's going to cost him again, and Cypher's in control. He's up by four for X to one now, and this is looking really good. Rail comes in. Rafa in the... He's done a lot of damage to Cypher, but Cypher with that 50 is uh, going to get back into uh, tip-top shape, and then the exchange rails. Neither of them in good health. The next rail will do it, and it's Cypher that lands it. And Rafa, well, when we watched De Hang on this map earlier, De Hang was nowhere to be seen when he was low on health. When he wasn't in, the, in a, a position where he was going to win a fight, he was nowhere to be seen. Rafa, when he's in a position where he can't win a fight, he's right in Cypher's face. I mean, both times now that Rafa has died, he's tried, and then he, yeah, he's had Cypher low. He's tried to go for a quick spawn, uh, go for a rush frag, kill Cypher one time, make sure he has no weapons, and he has to get everything over again. But each time he's had this opportunity, he's come so close, but hasn't been able to frag Cypher, and again takes him down to 27 health, uh, but is not able to. I mean, but finally, Rafa is able to, so he gets that frag after being killed. That's finally what he wanted to do. We'll see if he can make a comeback now. Now in the other batch, it's 2-1 to Sparty on to Hang's map with Hang having lost the M6 heavily. Nice rail there from uh, Rafa, just clips the tail of Cypher, who wants that red armor, which is, as you say, it's a trap. And that's why, as Cypher tries to come around that corner and is trapped out by the rocket, Rafa has uh, got himself right back in this game. Five and a bit minutes to go with four frags to the difference still anyone's uh, to win or lose. As they exchange rockets now down here at the Mega, and it will be Cypher that comes off the worst. Good play from Rafa. He's got the last three in a row now. And again, that trap, that r red armor of, uh, of Doom almost, is going to come back out to play and come to bite Ra Cypher in the backside. 
and it is 7-5. Rafa on the comeback trail. I mean, this is what exactly what happened between Rafa uh, and DeHang in their Clan Arena 2 match. Rafa uh, was taken down most of the match. He did have a pretty big deficit and then came all the way back for a pretty big win. So he is going to tie the game up right now. Uh, brings it back from 7-1 to one, all the way to 6-6, six to six, and it all came off of that first frag after trying for five frags in a row to kill Cypher. He finally got that one, took about six frag deaths, and now is in the lead and has control of the items. Rafa just had the uh, best minute he's going to have for a while, and Cypher just can't seem to get away from Rafa. He's falling right on him every time. Rafa is everywhere right now, and Cypher can run, but he can't hide from the American who now leads by three frags and the tide has turned. The question Cypher will be asking or hoping is that can the tide turn once more in the remaining four minutes? It certainly can. The question is will Ramp or will Cypher be able to force that? It is 3-2 uh, Sparty against the hang in favor of Sparty. Impressive. Rail landed, followed up with a machine gun and Cypher just cannot get away or will not get away. He's Given away quite a few of these frags just by picking, by, well, a lot of them have just been spawn conversions, but he's, uh, a few of them he goes for that Rafa's just quite happy to rail and then follow in. So Rafa's done a great job keeping composed, uh, not letting those early frags get to him, uh, making sure to time these items now. He does keep get Cypher off guard. Uh, on this roundabout here. This next RA is going to be important. Cypher does steal it without taking any damage there. Uh, so it's a nice play by Cypher of getting that RA without taking a rocket. Yeah, now Cypher's in a position to fight. Now Cypher on 100-100 uh, may well be able to do something to Rafa. Drops the rocket down to the bottom level. And there's uh, one waiting for Rafa as he comes out the teleporter. Rafa does land a good counter rocket. As Cypher looks to make the crossover and uh, now wants to go towards the red. There are rockets all there for him, but Cypher will just clip the edge of the red and get it. Suited and booted. Now he uh, comes towards Rafa, lands that rocket. Rafa, despite the, uh, the hit noise, is uh, in very good shape. Attributed to by that uh, Mega that he's just collected. Rocket dropped down, Cypher in trouble. Rafa quite happy just to uh, clip him this time. And Finish the job later, perhaps. 2.30 to go. Cypher needs this next frag. And here it may come. Rockets being exchanged. Cypher lands a good two rockets, but he's been counted out by Rafa's good two as well. And Rafa gets away, looks to convert, and that is going to be Cypher taking himself out, in fact. 11-5, and Cypher's opportunity may well have just passed. Yes, and it seems like uh, I don't think Keep Cypher will have enough time. There is two minutes to go uh, in that match. Uh, Rafa is up 11-5 to give an update from Sparty and DeHang. They have one minute, 35 seconds to go, and it is tied 3-3. Three to three. We're going to switch over to that match, in fact, and uh, bring you the end of that one as 3-3 uh, three, three the score. Everything poised on this. Remember, DeHang one map down to the Swede. Sparty in complete control right now. Uh, of that health and armor. See if DeHang can get this Mega now. No, he will not. Sparty will be in control of Red and Mega right now. DeHang with barely any armor. Trying to get rid of uh, the sound. We'll do it afterwards. Here yeah. we go. 3-3, three, three, 55 seconds left to go as DeHang will uh, fly through that teleporter. I think the safe money's on. Play it for overtime. But... Uh, Perhaps the intelligent money is one run, one push, one frag, win it. Well, DeHang is doing a great job right now of evading Sparty. Sparty had a huge stack, and DeHang had nothing. Now DeHang is able to get two YAs, uh, stack himself back up a little bit. He sees this third YA, making sure Sparty isn't in the area when he goes and takes it. He does take it, so DeHang is able to push himself back up now. Uh, for a fight remaining, it is tied 3-3. Sparty has won the first map. If he wins this map, he will move on. If the hang wins this, there will be a third map. Here we go. Crucial rocket here over on the bridge. It's going to be Sparty who will look to follow up with the rail. Can't quite do it. Five seconds left to go. Does someone want to win it here, or do they want to go to the overtime? Looks like Sparty will go in for the attack, and he does. And oh! he catches the 
to hang with an air rocket and wins four to three. What a way to win a match. The last second as the hang fell backwards, Sparty put the rocket right between their teeth and said, chew on this. Excellent play from the Swede. He beats the hang in monumental style on DM6, but here he's just absolutely nailed it. At the, at the last second, hits a rocket onto the hang. If in you're online, you can watch an instant replay of that. Just you can pull your uh, your player back and you can watch it again and again and again. So make sure if you're online, you do that. If you're here in the audience, well, you just have to uh, take our words for it that that was as good as it really was. Um, Wow, we're going on to a third map, Rafa versus Cypher. That one finished 15-8 in the end as Cypher picked up two frags right at the end. It was sort of on the uh, one minute to go mark when